Now here's a weird laptop problem. I've got a Dell 600M. So you can see it's running just fine right now with Windows XP. If I go ahead and shut it off and start turn it completely off. Say I want to turn it off. that turn off. That second little light there is a hard drive activity light. And then just wait a few seconds. Try and turn it back on. And when that light is solid, it's not necessarily seeing the hard drive. So I don't know if it's, if it's something in detecting the hard drive or the hard drive itself is bad. But you, uh, you literally have to uh, see it, it didn't even see it at the time. Now if you sit here and wait about 30 seconds to a minute, or if you pull the hard drive out and put it back in, you wait a few seconds, it'll see it. But on a regular power down, it won't. It won't even see it. So we'll wait here a few seconds until it starts blinking. Hopefully it'll be sometime soon. And then we'll do a control alt delete reboot and it should boot back into XP. And it's a brand new connector, a, a good used and tested hard drive. So I'm still waiting. Hello. Looks like it's beginning to blink now a little bit. Yeah, 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 you can see it's blinking now. Now we'll do a control alt delete. Control alt delete. Reboot. Uh, future Emma. See that time I obviously saw it and it's booting into Windows XP. So any ideas? Faulty controller, faulty motherboard. Um, hard drive not making a full connection on the board I don't know any ideas go ahead and leave a video comment a response or whatever